Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to use a comparator interface to sort collection of object uh, in previous version of JDK like till JDK 1.7 right. So from JDK 1.7 onwards comparator is an a functional interface if you go to comparator interface then you can see this interface is annotated as a functional interface so this is indicating that this is a functional interface right so comparator interface has just one abstract method is called compare it automatically qualifies the functional interface in java 8 nevertheless java 8 designers have gone ahead and annotated the comparator interface at the rate functional interface to enforce the role as a functional interface being a functional interface completer can now be used as assignment target for a lambda expression or method reference uh, in java 8 completer as an assignment target for lambda expressions given the fact that its functional interface and instance of an instance of comp Comparator can now be created in Java 8 with lambda expression specifying the comparison logic. So uh, we had created uh, a project in earlier video tutorial like comparator before Java 8 and there I have shown you how we can perform a shorting uh, for a collection of objects. So what I had done let me explain you. So I had a model class is called employee. Uh, which is having two private methods name and field I had created constructor publicator method and two testing method pretty simple now I had created another, another class is called employee name sorter which implements comparator interface and I had overridden compare method and here uh, we had written a logic to compare I mean sort based on the name field now I had created a client program first client program list of employee and there i had added few employees and just iterating employee before sorting and after that collection is a utility class which is having a method is called sort which accepts list as well as uh, a comparator object so this is our comparator object right this simply this class implements comparator so this is our comparator object so we have passed empty comparator object and when we so this is this is this is basically responsible to sort a list of employees based on the name parameter and if you iterate this list then you will get uh, this list uh, will be sorted based on the name field right and second approach we had seen uh, if you are not willing to create a separate class for sorter then you may use uh, anonymous class so collection dot sort you pass the list list of which holds list of object and uh, instead of passing a, a completer object over here uh, uh, here as we had done in earlier project just we have created an anonymous class right so you can create an anonymous class for interface abstract class or any even for concrete class as well so what i have done new completer and this is basically anonymous class anonymous class is a class which is not a name without name if you create a class it's called anonymous class so here is an interface seems like a, you are creating an object but it's not an object and you create a new comparator and you open the bracket and close the bracket and anonymous class always end with the semicolon and within this you will have to overwrite uh, abstract method uh, of comparator so we have only an abstract method so that method we have overridden and we have written the comparison logic over here sorting logic and if you iterate the list then you'll get the list it will be in the sorted format uh, here if you look into the and bean folder then there will be a separate uh, dot class file will be created for this anonymous class but in jdk 1.8 onwards as you can see a comparator is a functional interface right so and this is having only one abstract method so there is chance to write a lambda expression for this method right because this interface is a functional interface so this method takes two input parameters 
and returns some uh, integer right so in this video tutorial I'm going to write a lambda exp uh, expression for this inter uh, for this method so this method can be represented in lambda expression right so let's copy this project and paste it in the same workspace I would give the name as comparator in Java 8 with lambda expression okay let's click on ok so let me close this project so I have closed this project and this is the project which is the replica of, of just previous project here are some of the classes I would like to delete this class is not needed so separate shorter class is not needed at all in this here this class client program I am going to delete and here now in this project we have a one amp model class employee which contains two fields constructor public gator method and two string method and client program we have a list and there we have added few uh, employee objects and just we are printing before the sorting and we are printing after sorting as well but for sorting we have used anonymous class but this anonymous class we want to convert into uh, lambda expression so here there is chance to convert this code into lambda expression in java 8 onwards right so here lambda expression how we can create lambda expression expression equivalent to this so lambda expression knows what is the method name right so this is very well known by the lambda what is the return type right even lambda expression know what is the uh, i mean type of the input parameter so up so lambda you we start this anonymous class it starts from here and closing here right so this open bracket you need to this is open bracket and corresponding close bracket uh, you have uh, over here so remove this uh, your sorry uh, this anonymous class it starts from here and closing here so this bracket is just delete and corresponding opening bracket I'm also going to delete so up to here you don't need need to write to write a lambda expression so I have deleted and and this is your input parameter right now after this you will have to give the lambda sign like this now this is the lambda expression equivalent to previous anonymous class implementation now if I run it then this code will work perfectly fine now you can see uh, I can show you the output so before sorting and after sorting you can see name is sorted based, uh, based uh, sorry list of employees sorted based on the name right now this is the more descriptive lambda expression so again I'm going to comment this code and again you can uh, you can write little more shorter lambda expression so as I said lambda expression knows about the uh, what the type of the input parameter so this is not needed at all so you can remove this is optional so I have removed this type as well now uh, if lambda expression is having is having only one parameter right only one statement then you don't need to write even return type as well uh, right you don't need to write return type if lambda expression contains only one statement then even you don't need to write a write a uh, open brace and close brace so i'm going to delete this one corresponding close brace right and one more parenthesis is needed over here so this is your one of the short and crispy lambda expression right isn't it be this is written in only one line so isn't it crispy short and crispy so that's it see the amount of code we have written so I'm going to uh, for your understanding purpose I'm going to keep this line of code as it is and when you write a lambda expression for a computer then you can write like this 
and if I if I run this code then you will get the results so this is before sorting and this is after sorting so this is working perfectly fine I hope you understood how we can define lambda expression for comparer compare method which is available in the uh, computer interface so I hope you enjoyed learning this video this code I am going to uh, upload on the github and even previous code also I had uploaded on the github and github location I am going to specify in the video description itself if you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel this encourage me to upload more and more video on a youtube channel and see you next video tutorial thanks for watching this video